In this tutorial, we're going to learn everything we need to know to start making 3D art with 3D Studio Max. I'll be using Max 2012, but the differences between the versions are small and will likely be negligible for what we're doing here. This is going to be an intro to modeling, so we won't learn anything about animation. However, if you're brand new to Max or brand new to 3D, I believe this is a great place to start regardless. Now, this tutorial will be a bit different than many of the other billions of Max tutorials. I'm not going to go through the interface button by button explaining what each of them do. I'm not going to show every aspect of Max in a neat orderly fashion. And we're not going to learn about legacy tools my great grandfather used in the 1920s. We're going to learn this program by making stuff. I'll be covering only the tools I use most as a 3D artist in the video games industry. So you'll be getting a focused contextual overview of Max and 3D modeling in general for that matter. We're going to start by making a simple primitive snowman, during which we'll learn the fundamentals like camera navigation, object creation, basic transformations, and selections. After we have that stuff down, we'll move into sub-object mode and get to the real meat of modeling with the frying pan. We'll learn how to make our frying pan pretty with materials, cameras, lighting, and rendering. Finally, we'll move on to a more complex object with the modeling and UV unwrapping of this dagger. Even if you know nothing of 3D, after watching all of the following chapters, I think you'll have a pretty good foundation.